Hey guys, so I wanted to do a short video of my um, electric bike conversion. This is something that I just decided to do. Just saw some um, electric bicycle conversions online and thought it would be kind of fun to do um, you know, one of my own. I just moved to Colorado and uh, went on a bike trail and it was a bit hard for me to go up the hills, you know, living in Minnesota um, pretty much for the last 10 years. And uh, going up big hills wasn't that easy. But it's a lot of fun, so I thought it would be really fun to do uh, to give me a little boost when I need to go up a hill on some of the bigger trails. So what I ended up doing is I ended up um, getting a full suspension Rocky Mountain um, Element 10. It's probably from like 2004, 2006, so it's not a new bike by any means. And um, got a Buffing 8 Fun um, 500 watt uh, electric uh, mid drive conversion never done this before uh, I've never ridden on an electric bicycle period uh, I've only seen them in the stores they're very expensive um, I've seen some that are you know three four thousand uh, dollars pretty basic some of them don't even have front suspension so I wanted a full suspension bicycle that I can take uh, take off road um, but still be able to ride on a street um, being able to get a little bit of range and uh, good amount of torque going up big hills so uh, I'll do a little walk around on what I have done. Uh, the bike is fully functional now. Um, I ended up getting um, uh, hydraulic brakes for it. Uh, they're specifically made for electric bikes, so they actually have uh, electronic cutoffs, which I highly suggest. It is really difficult to uh, try to stop a you know a bicycle going 20, 30 miles an hour uh, when the motor is trying to push you and you're trying to slow down. So. Check it out. Um, I'll go over a couple different things on here. Some of the difficulties that I was uh, having actually finding a bicycle that will work with the battery in a way that I wanted it to. So here's the bicycle. Um, it is, uh, again, it's in Rocky Mountain Element 10. Um, what I have going on here is that this is where everything happens, really. So this is the mid mounted um, 8 Fun uh, Bafang. Uh, 500 watt motor still have some packaging on it. I actually just finished the project uh, not too long ago one thing that um, I did not find um, online when I was searching for conversion kits is um, if Eight fun mid-drive conversions work with mountain bikes with larger bottom brackets and some websites that sell them tell you that uh, they work with you know 68 millimeter to 73 millimeter but it is not entirely true. Um, it does work, but it's not made for it. So you have to uh, kind of modify a few things um, to make sure it's safe. A uh, few things that um, I have done is um, I added a couple washers. So you have to do that to make sure that the, uh, uh, the motor is actually centered. Um, and then this gray uh, knot in the bottom, it's supposed to be two of them. Uh, they kind of lock onto each other, uh, but on this setup I could only use one, so I had to use quite a bit of red th thread lock to make sure that it's uh, holding all together. Um, so far, I've ridden it a little bit. I didn't take it off road. Uh, motor seems to be staying in one place. I, you know, I've jumped off of curbs and stuff like that, and um, haven't had any issues. Uh, this is the battery. Uh, it's one of those bottle-mounted batteries. Um, it's a 48 volt um, battery. Uh, it is pretty large and it's not super heavy, but you know, it adds a little bit of weight. Um, I'd say it's probably about 10 pounds. Uh, the motor setup is probably about 11 pounds, so the whole thing is you know, just over 20 pounds. It's not super noticeable, believe it or not, because um, everything is mounted very low, so center of gravity is low. The bicycle itself uh, feels really light on its feet, um, so there's really no issues uh, moving around. Um, Again, it's a full suspension bicycle, so as you can see, um, if you have a full suspension bicycle, uh, you have to have a really big triangle to be able to mount this battery in there. Um, so this was uh, pretty much the only bike that I was able to find that was full suspension that had the ability to mount this uh, battery in such a way. So the kit comes with the uh, battery, the motor, uh, all the wiring and the connectors were already pre-made so it was all plug and play and then the, um, the controller so I'll go ahead and uh, turn it on there's a, uh, a switch over here to turn it on so you press and hold the button 
Um, it gives it quite a few readouts here. So um, it came actually with only three levels of assist. So if you go um, up like this, it gives you three levels of assist. Uh, but uh, in, the, uh, in the advanced settings, you can actually change it to a uh, to nine. So there's nine levels of assist. What's nice is that uh, it's got throttle, so you can at any time hit the throttle and uh, go like a motorcycle. Uh, with the um, another thing is that when you're pedaling, it's assisting you. Uh, but if you just want a little extra boost, you can always give it a little bit more gas, and it will uh, give you a little even more boost going up a hill. One thing that I noticed with this whole setup is that uh, it might not be super fast, um, but the amount of torque is ridiculous. I mean, this thing can go up some serious hills. Uh, in terms of the brakes, these are uh, made by uh, Tektro. Uh, they are, from what I understand, a Chinese company uh, that makes some um, interesting bicycle uh, parts, um, including these brakes. They are absolutely massive. These brakes are uh, at least an inch uh, in a diameter bigger than what the bicycle came with. So you have to be really careful with them. They're very bitey. Um, the pads in them are the red pads. So what I've read about them is that they're really uh, they're really aggressive pads. So uh, the wheels do lock up really quickly. They use mineral oil so that it's not dot four fluid or anything like that. One thing I noticed is that um, uh, when it's cold out, they get a little bit difficult to, uh, to press on. So I'm not really sure if it's, if it's really cold out if they even will work. Um, other than that, uh, so you see both of them have uh, uh, brake cutoffs over here and they were pre-wired for, uh, for the kit so it was really 100% um, plug and play. So uh, everything comes through a one harness so it's pretty much one wire going to the motor. Motor has a built-in controller in it so there's no extra pieces or anything like that. Um, on the other side is where uh, the freewheel is. I think it's a 48 tooth uh, uh, crank, um, the front sprocket. Um, it's it, This thing is fast. I mean, I was able to get it up to like uh, around 28 miles an hour. Uh, and that's with the original uh, nine speed in the back. Um, the, uh, the I wasn't expecting this thing to be this smooth. It's really smooth. Um, there's no, no weird hesitations. Uh, it's really really good. I only ridden it on the street like I said, so yeah, I don't know how this is going to react to uh, riding on the uh, uh, You know riding on trails or anything like that, which I will be trying out tomorrow actually The weather has been nice enough enough where I could probably do it. So um, in the next video, I'm gonna uh, Record me riding it. Um, you know give you an idea how uh, How much noise it makes to be honest with you is barely any noise I mean you cannot tell when you're riding this thing uh, you know, when people see you and you're not pedaling, you're going 20 miles an hour, uh, the looks are pretty cool. So, um, yeah, so the next video will be me riding it uh, around the streets, and then hopefully tomorrow I'll record myself riding uh, on some nice trails.